Super Peniel, Sunshine, Wahoo! Super Mario Sunshine is owned by Nintendo. One day, Ben awoke in a cage. He happened to be placed next to a cage of bloopers. As it turns out, he was being transported to the Al Delfino Zoo. Yes, that Al Delfino. What happened? What's going on? Why is he there? As it turns out, he was captured alive by Piantas and placed in a wooden box. It was even his monstrous form they were after. It was him. After the Piantas interactions with Mario, they decided to find out about where his origins lie. So they found the path to Earth and captured some random animal whom Ben just happened to be. During the grand opening of the new pen at the zoo, Ben saw many Piantas. As the Pianta zookeepers are ready to place Ben in the new pen, Get your sticking gloves off me, you damn dirty plant man! The Prime Minister Panda was about to cut the ribbon. But then Ben escaped the pen! Except he wasn't even Berigoris. Ben was, in fact, too much of a wimp to become Berigoris. Since if he did, he would have to do community service for them, like they attempted on Mario against his own wishes. However, the pandas, Nokis, and raccoons started clapping and cheering. They were thoroughly impressed with Ben's performance. Convinced they were not scared enough, he had to say, I will summon the Ring of Fire! Nothing happened. Instead, the pandas clapped again. Then, Ben became really furious. He exploded. Into an enormous mushroom cloud. The pandas were still clapping, though. Suddenly, Berigoras came out of the cloud. Now the pandas are scared. They run. Mario comes to the rescue. He uses F-L-U-D-D. -D. It's super effective. Not. Berigoras steps on Flood out of fury. Mario shakes his fist. Then he gets stepped on. Then Bowser Jr. comes into the play and attempts to fight Berigoras with his Mega Bowser machine. But just when Bowser Jr. comes out of Mega B's head, he is instead mistaken for Manila. Berigoras, in Ben's control, picks up Bowser Jr. and takes him up to the skies. With the use of one of his flying cruisers, the somewhat fatherly Bowser falls after them. Mario condemns the Piantas for caging a human instead of treating them with fairness. So as punishment, Mario becomes Prime Minister instead and invites Ben back to the Isle of the Field to place the Piantas in Piñatas so they can have turns being hit and beaten until shine sprites fall out. The end!